Welcome. Today we're going to be looking at the Behringer 1027 sequencer and its companion, the 1050 mix sequencer. They are specially designed to work together and we're going to see some of the musical applications of their capabilities. Uh, but first let's just take a listen to that and see what that sounds like. Okay, let's talk about what we've got going on here. First of all, we've got the sequencer with three channels, eight steps, three outputs, and we're routing these three control voltage outputs into the first half, the top half, of the mix sequencer so that we can select which of the three columns gets routed to the VCO. The other thing that we've got going on is we've got the gates, uh, the gate outputs from the individual steps that are going to the second half. So we've got step four, five, six, and seven gates routed into uh, the four inputs. The output from here is going into the rate and that's what allowed us to push these buttons and change the timing of the sequence. So let's listen to that again. Another thing you could do is rather than going into the rate here you could route that signal, the gate signals, to the reset so that when you hit step four it would reset back to step one and let's listen to what that would sound like. The only other thing that I want to point out here is these controls and these red buttons allow you to select exclusively the channels on the mixer. In this case we're in the dual four channel mixer mode and so if I have this on and I select this channel only then you're going to only get that channel which is helpful particularly when you're doing CVs because it allows you to move from one to the next and not only you're turning on this one you're turning off that one and of course you've seen me use these buttons interactively as well you can also have these done as sequential uh, steps. You can use the, the, the gate outputs routed directly into here and as you advance it's going to select a particular step which is pretty cool. So I'm actually hitting the step advance here and advancing the steps over here you can also use an internal clock to to clock this thing that's the eight step mode 
and you can change the the length here as well so that's the internal clock and that concludes this video I may do some additional videos covering some of the capabilities of using this 1050 mix sequencer as an event sequencer so that you could use it not only for CV or gate you could also use it for different audio and you can use it as an interactive mixer as well it's very very handy thanks for watching